Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Endub, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Now, there is some interesting news afoot lately. Okay, system scan is complete. Unidentified signal source. May as well check that out while I'm here. Now, the interesting news that I am referring to is a quite simple. For the Federation, President Zachary Hudson has announced the selection of the new Vice President Degraded Emissions. May as well check it out. Of the Federation as one Jerome Archer. I congratulate Commander Archer of the Dark Wheel in his ascension to the Vice Presidency. I kid, I kid. Uh, the naming is merely a coincidence. I think. Uh, one wonders, is uh, Vice President Archer going to be less of a wallflower than his uh, predecessor Brad Mitchell, whose name kind of exploded onto the scene only after his death? Uh, meanwhile, uh, in the uh, Marlinist colonies, uh, and they are rejecting the Empire's accusations that uh, they support the NMLA and are working openly with the ACT. And have also issued a public statement that the Empire has executed far more people than those that died in the Nine Martyrs attack, uh, merely uh, for espousing Republican ideals. And unfortunately, tragedy has struck the ACT as they have lost track of an entire investigation team. And that was in the process of uh, chasing down leads on suppliers of materials for the NMLA. Uh, details are scarce, but the ship vanished somewhere between the Mudrid system and the Free Milanist colonies. And the Pilots' Federation urges all commanders in the region to search for the missing ship. A bit of a slowdown from the frantic pace over the last couple of weeks since uh, the peace conference, uh, but an urgent search, uh, no doubt. The details of the ship are as follows. An Anaconda-class vessel flagged as the Valkyrie, registered under the Empire, with Captain Sian Siatana. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Of the Imperial Internal Service. No, Internal Security Service. And... And this certainly does look like a debris field from a anaconda, among other ships, I believe. And this is why I started the episode in the Midrid system, except small... Ah, uh, no. What do we got over here? Ah, uh, mechanical scrap. You know what? I'll take that. I could use that. And this is why I actually started in the mood that it's system, and I'm um, just going to be jumping around some as a bit of a short break from turning the wheel. As it seems, we are having issues, technical issues, with the galaxy right now. Uh, particularly the mission board at Birkeland and Ross 154. Also, my connection to the internet has been absolutely craptastic. I screwed it up right at the last second, and I... Uh, yeah, absolutely craptastic for the last two weeks. But it seems that this debris field is not our missing anaconda. And so I am going to continue my search. And I am pretending that my ship is an anaconda. by using economical routing and hopefully among uh, the how many jumps 17 jumps between here and the Marlinus free colonies I may perhaps find this missing ship who knows I'm going into this blind this is my uh, method of operations anytime uh, some kind of new mystery gets added into the game but anyway, that's about it for today. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications. And to join me in my eternal crusade against YouTube and its sorting algorithms. And it seems that there's 
nothing here in this system as well. And hopefully, I will see you all in the next video.